Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Data Logic with Shivam. Today, I will cover an interview question which was asked to one of my subscriber. At first, I was also not sure how to go ahead, and then did some research and find out this article by Goodly. I will add this article link in description in case you want to check. Before going ahead, I would request you all to please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. That helps me to motivate and create more such content. Moving ahead. Let's first understand the question. How can you dy dynamically switch between standard calendar and fiscal calendar calculation based on user selection in Power BI visuals? And the interviewers asked candidate to provide the solution how we can achieve it. So let me first cover what is standard calendar. Standard calendar which we use for normal purpose and start from 1st Jan to 31st December. If you can see here we have January to December. And what is fiscal calendar? It is used for financial purpose. It can be start according to the company or client fiscal year which they follow. In India, we follow April to March fiscal year. But here in our example, we will follow July to June fiscal year. Let me go to the data model. Now to achieve this, we should have one table like a custom date table that includes both the standard calendar and the fiscal calendar attribute. This table should have a calendar type column to distinguish between the standard and fiscal calendar. Like for example, standard and fiscal. So let me go to model view first. Let me select my first table, which is called standard calendar. So how did I create this? I have used calendar auto function for creating a standard calendar table. Calendar auto function takes the first date and last date from your calendar and creates the date table. After that, I have created these column like month number, month name, day, quarter and year using the simple year and format function. After that, I have created fiscal calendar. Let me select that one. So in fiscal calendar, this is also created by using calendar auto function. So here you notice I have given an argument 6 because I need my fiscal year to be July to June. If I need April to March, then I would have given 3 in the argument. If you can notice here, I have created one index column which is similar as a month number column in our standard table, standard calendar table. Here I have used edate where I have taken the this this date and minus 6 so this will become 1 Jan 2017 and then it will extract the month number so here it will be 1 2 3 like that so this is uh, we purposely used for creating a separate combined table for a standard and fiscal year so I have created a month number column also in our standard calendar table then Again, then month name format column I have used, then fiscal quarter format, and then e date I have mine I have done the minus six and then provided the Q1, Q2, Q3. How this is provided? Uh, we simply use e date uh, using the fiscal calendar date and minus six, so it will move to first January 2017, and then using the format function, it will give the Q1, Q2, and then uh, the respectively. In fiscal year, if you see here, I purposely given this CY to NY and PY to CY for providing the fiscal year calendar year field in our uh, in our visual you can say so here uh, I have taken uh, CY current this is current year this is right I have taken the year from the from the from this date and then the last two digit okay and then here respectively in new year and pre previous year also and here I have done plus one and minus one and then I have checked uh, month check uh, here this is true or false it will give it will provide true or false this is a boolean and here if I will uh, I will check if the true uh, it will provide c1 cy and ny which is 17 18 and if if it is not true then py cy which is 18 to 19 respectively now to achieve the solution i already told you we need a table which should include both standard calendar table and fiscal year calendar table so i will go to this standard and fiscal calendar here how i have created the single custom table using 
union function here i have create calendar type column purposely for providing this value into the slicer and then taken some of the column which are required for our uh, slicer and the uh, matrix data okay here if you notice here i have sorted the column also i have created one sort co uh, custom column uh, for standard uh, standard calendar i have provided uh, multiply by one so month number will be one into one multiply by one will be one and here in short uh, uh, in fiscal calendar uh, we also have one then i have provided 13 so it will uh, move forward 13 14 15 16 respectively so this is uh, i have done purposely and then i have sort the date column uh, month column date column uh, according to the sort uh, column okay let's move to the data model now if you check in the data model I have not created the relationship between my fact table and the custom table because custom data table contains duplicate value. Hence, we will not able to create one to many relationship here. Let me move to the report view. In this table, in this matrix, if I will put the total sales data, cal date, uh, total sales calculation in matrix, you can see here because of no relationship, the values are not coming currently, correctly. So I'll, uh, first I'll remove this one here from here. Then we will move ahead. So to achieve this in final calculation, since these two table fact and my standard uh, and fiscal calendar uh, table are not connected, I will use the tree test function. Let me show you the calculation first, then I'll explain. So in overall sales, if you can see here, I have used calculate function where I have used total sales and then I have used the treat as function. So treat as function, treat as function will help me to create virtual relationship between two table and fi finally I will wrap all of the calculation into the calculate column. And once we have this, this calculation also, we will have the required solution. So if I will select the standard calendar it will show the total sales or overall sales according to January to December okay and if I will move ahead if you can see here and if I select the fiscal calendar it will show me according the data according July to June and then July to June again and uh, you can also confirm the data as well uh, for February uh, for January 1327674 and let's check for the January 1 through 1, 3, 2, 7, 6, 7, 4. This, so this is how we can achieve dynamically switch between standard calendar and fiscal calendar calculation based on user selection in Power Visual. Power Visual. Hope you like this video. If you know better solution, then please comment below. That's a wrap for today. I would request you to please subscribe to my channel and like the videos for more such content. Thank you.